Hey, what's up family? It's your girl, Lolita. Welcome back to God's Development Plan. Y'all, I am doing another meal share and I am cooking a little something called chicken. Mm, okay, and y'all, I right now am cutting my veggies. I have half of a green bell pepper, fresh green bell pepper that I diced up into or cubed or whatever and then i'll cut this off camera because i'm not gonna sit here and bore you guys with chopping i have half of a um a sweet onion here a vidalia onion and i'm gonna cut this whole thing up and it's a pretty big size too as well and y'all i'm gonna make some chicken uh, okay and you can also make turkey uh. that's something that um <laughs> my mom used to make that a friend of hers used to make and basically you guys it's great to tell you about this now before thanksgiving gets here because i'm telling you this little quick easy recipe is gonna come in handy and it comes in handy on leftover nights as well y'all okay so what i have here is a rotisserie chicken this is from Publix. okay let me bring it close so you guys can see it's still in the little the little paper it comes in okay this is a rotisserie chicken that me and my husband were slicing and eating it with our meal right but there is some left there's some breast meat left and some dark meat left and it just needs to be kind of pulled off the bone the rest of the chicken so i'm gonna pull that off and make like a little a little chicken type of gravy or sauce uh with it and with those veggies and put it over some rice because you know i don't think anything should be wasted you know there's no sense in wasting food that isn't spoiled right and it's not been picked over it's only been sliced off of not people digging it into it with their fingers and such i hate that kind of stuff child you ever have somebody try to offer you some food that they done literally picked over with their fingers child Ugh. anyway <laughs> maybe that's just me that just grosses me out honey but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this meat off the bone, but I'm gonna finish chopping up my veggies first and then we're gonna get it going. Be back. Okay, family, now like I said, we already had our green, half of our green bell pepper um, cubed up, right? And then I went ahead and cubed up half of a sweet onion and now I'm gonna go ahead and use a fork and I'm gonna take this chicken, this rotisserie chicken, and pull that meat off the bone and get that into a separate dish. And then we'll be back again, y'all. Okay, you guys, now we've pulled our chicken off the bone, y'all. What was left, let me tell y'all. Check out that, look at that. Now it's really broken down to nothing but bone. So I'ma just throw this on away and let somebody, you know, you guys could make stock with this or something, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it away cause I really don't need it. And of course I discarded the skin. I didn't, we don't use the skin for this recipe. You're just only gonna use the meat of the chicken, white and dark meat, what's left. And never think, oh, there's not enough meat left because once you get to pulling it apart, you add your sauce and your veggies. It's a great way to make leftovers stretch into a whole new fresh meal. You guys look at all the chicken. Look at all this chicken, you guys, that I pulled off of that bone. Now, when you looked at that rotisserie chicken, it probably did not look like there was that much meat on that chicken, but there was still a lot. So we're going to put it to use. And like I said, this is a great recipe also for leftover turkey for Thanksgiving, your leftover Cornish hens, your leftover roasted chickens, any poetry that you have from your meals period y'all i'm telling you very simple recipe we're about to do okay let's go to the next steps and you guys i'm a little bit off camera but i'm sure y'all don't mind i decided i'm gonna go ahead and wash my rice and get it going i'm only gonna cook one cup of rice you guys because it's just me here but i do want enough to be available for tomorrow so that i don't have to worry about cooking tomorrow you guys so one cup of rice is enough for me and this is just jasmine this is thai jasmine rice um they didn't have the brand i normally get i usually get this one y'all but so they didn't have what I normally get. So I just grabbed the brand that was available because I did see 
the brown jasmine rice available in the brand I normally get. But y'all, I'm gonna be honest, I do not care for brown rice. It's like, I'd rather just not eat rice, you know, if that's the case. I'd just rather not eat it. I don't know. Does anyone else feel me on that? It's like the only way I really care for brown rice is if it's like in a burrito. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm being so honest, y'all. If it's wrapped up with something else, you know, and I dropped a couple grains of the rice, but that's okay. I'm gonna bag that up. And you guys, this is just a cup of jasmine rice, and I'm putting it into my sifter, my strainer rather, and I'm gonna, you know clean it i'm gonna run it under some cold water and toss it up through a few times just to wash my rice okay you guys and i'm gonna be boiling it with some sea salt and a little avocado oil just plain white rice nothing fancy and probably put a little herb in there in my little small pot here see this is a very very tiny pot here but it's all i need for my rice so i'm gonna get that going and we'll be back Okay, you guys, I'm just starting a bit of a boil on my little small two cups of water over here, y'all. And I'm just getting my little measuring spoon because I think for me, per cup of rice, I use like a half a teaspoon of um, of salt, which I use sea salt because I just, y'all, I just do not do table salt, y'all. I just do not do table salt. My body takes much better to sea salt like regular table salt will give me a straight up migraine i just mm -mm, something about it y'all i can have very little of it but sea salt i'm fine but even that i can't go overboard now but i definitely can um my body handles sea salt better anyone else feel me on that so yeah i'm throwing a little sea salt in there y'all and I'm also going to throw y'all remember now that your girl love to have a herb in her stuff i don't know me and like herbs <laughs> i like to add add a little flavor a little other flavor to my stuff y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and throw some parsley into my water yes i am that's for my rice and i'm also because you need some butter or some kind of oil but i'm gonna use avocado oil you should put a little oil in your rice you know make it better avocado oil is a healthy oil you could use olive oil too if that's your choice i prefer avocado because for some reason, I'm not crazy about the taste of olive oil, but I will use it for, I prefer it only with Italian dishes. But y'all, now I'm going to take this rice and I'm going to go ahead and wash it. And I'll be back and I'm going to get it to boiling and put it in my pot. Be back. Hey, you guys. And you can see here how my water has come to a boil in my little pot. That's two cups of water, sea salt, some parsley, and some avocado oil. This is my rice, which I have given a thorough washing to get off all that starch and anything else that might be in it. Because remember, just like we like to eat grains, other things like to eat grains. So we got to wash our rice. So I'm going to just take that and put it right in that boiling salted water with the herbs and the avocado oil in it, y'all. Okay, and I put, like I said, half a teaspoon of sea salt. Nothing crazy. We're just doing some white rice. And what I like to do, you guys, I stir it for a few minutes, like maybe about two or three minutes as it's first boiling, y'all. I just stir it to make sure that it doesn't stick and that, that rice kind of loosens up a bit. I just spend maybe about two minutes, no more than that giving it a stir before I turn it down because right now I have it boiling on high but then I'm going to turn it down to more of a medium heat and just let it boil for probably about what maybe 15 or 20 minutes but I've got it on a high setting now okay but I'm going to turn it down a bit after I finish stirring it for just a little while, because after I stir it now for these two or three minutes here, y'all, I'm not going to stir it. I'm going to put the top on it and leave it alone, because if you, like, come back continuously stirring your rice, you know you'll make it gummy. So we don't want gummy rice. I don't mind moist rice and soft rice, but I don't want gummy rice. And I also don't like rice that's, like, rock hard. You ever have some rice and it's, like, each grain is so hard? Ew, that's not my jam, y'all. That ain't my jam. I like tender rice that's, you know, like good. Oh, my goodness, y'all. So, anyway, you guys, all right, I think I'm about done stirring it. I'm looking at my timer on my stove, and I'm looking at the time change with my little minutes going by, my little one, two minutes, or however long. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to just go ahead and turn it down 
to like a medium heat to a medium low heat y'all i'm just gonna take my top and go ahead i'm just getting any excess rice off of my spoon here and sit it right on there y'all okay and like i said that shouldn't take but about maybe what 15 to 20 minutes to boil y'all and i have it on medium heat now all right so we're gonna get our veggies going for our chicken mm, now that we got something we gonna put the chicken mm, on top of okay be back all right family here we go let's get started on the chicken mm, portion okay and y'all know i'm back with my trusty 100 percent pure non-gmo avocado oil y'all Let's get a little bit of that going up in the pan because I'm going to throw my veggies in there. And you know I always cook my seasoning as well. So I want to get a good amount in there and it is a healthy fat. Let's get that in there, y'all. And I just turned um, the stove on. I got it kind of on, what, like the third setting high. But anyway, let's throw these onions on in there. And those will get going once everything gets heated up. The oil's not even hot yet, y'all. Just so y'all know, nothing's hot yet. And I'm going to go ahead and throw my half a green bell pepper right on in there so that those can cook down. And we're going to let them start cooking down, and then we'll be right back. Oh, and you know what, guys? As the onions and the green bell pepper are cooking down, because I do all that before I add in the chicken. Because remember, the chicken's already cooked, guys, okay? So it's a rotisserie chicken. We're not putting the chicken in there to actually cook it. We're just kind of going to stew it down in the sauce. But let me mention what you're going to need. You're going to need some cream of mushroom for this recipe. Just one can of cream of mushroom, okay? Okay. And I will say this, if you want, you could probably substitute for golden mushroom. You know, they have cream of golden mushroom. They also have cream of chicken. There's cream of broccoli. If you prefer the flavor of one of those, you can you can go ahead and use it. But I'll be honest, I think this is the best choice. Just your regular cream of mushroom. And they do have a low sodium option if you need that. Okay, see, I've already opened it here, you guys. I hope you can see with the, with the camera adjusting its lighting and such, okay? So now, my veggies, I'm going in here to get myself a wooden thing to, you know, stir my stuff with because this is like my favorite non-stick pan, child, so we don't want to, let me put the camera down here. We're not trying to scratch it up, child. I be fussing at my husband sometime about my pans. I'm like, don't be using my favorite pan because you know you don't like to go in there with a with a, pla a proper plastic rubber or wooden utensil to stir the food, which you want to jump in my favorite pan with a metal fork and a stain stainless steel knife and all of this scratching up my good pots and pans. We ain't going to have that, baby. Do y'all husbands be doing that? Like ignoring what needs to be used for the pots and pans? Don't get in here with that stuff in my pot, tearing up my good expensive Rachel Ray. This is Rachel Ray. Don't tell my Rachel Ray, okay? Let me tell you something. Leave my Rachel Ray alone. Get away from it. I be feeling like I need a broom to shoo him out the kitchen on my Rachel Ray pot, y'all. Make me sick. Stuff expensive. Y'all know ladies, come on now, men too, if you cook now, come on, a good pot and stuff now, come on. You can't be in here scratching up people good stuff. Then when they go to use the non-stick item, child, it ain't even non-stick no more. Hello, come on somebody. I need some kind of witness. See how it's cooking down, y'all? So I turned the pan down, ain't no needing it being up high. Because you already know, y'all know me. You know what I'm finna do next, right? You know what I'm finna do next. You see me shuffling this stuff kind of out the way, right? You know what I'm getting ready to do, don't you? As this cooking, since it's kind of, you know, getting a little bit softened up and stuff, okay? I'm going to go ahead and start throwing in some of my seasonings. And like I said, y'all know one thing about me. I love a good herb. So I'm going to go ahead and throw me some herbs in here and wake them up. I got parsley. I'm going to be buying a lot more of this, especially with Thanksgiving coming up. You know, I'm going to have to buy a lot of fresh herbs. See, I done cleared the parsley clean out, y'all. So I'm putting that. Matter of fact, let me turn it back up one more point. I think I turned it too low. 
Okay, so I put me some dried parsley, y'all. Let me move this. This might be in y'all way. Can y'all see? You know what? I ain't doing y'all right. Let me hold. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't treating y'all right. Let me bring. <laughs> let me bring y'all down. You probably like, Lolita, we can't even hardly see in that pot, baby. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, now I'm gonna throw in this garlic powder. You remember we said we ain't never scared. We bone crusher. We ain't never scared. What? We ain't never scared. Okay, or some garlic powder and stuff. I mean, child, ain't no salt. Ain't no reason to be scared. Don't be acting shy. On the garlic powders, onion powders, and your other dry season. If you be acting like they scared to put them in there, Charlie. They, it can't run up your blood pressure. It can't do nothing but season your tongue. Ain't no why you scared. Don't be don't be scared. This black pepper, because one thing I do like about my chicken uh, is to have a lot of black pepper in it. I'ma let that wake up too. And also what I'ma throw in here. Because, again, with the herbs, I'm going to put a little dill, a little dried dill in there. I know that's a little random, but that's what she's doing. And it's pretty simple, y'all. Ain't nothing difficult. I'm going to just toss it right on up with those vegetables. Okay? That's all. Just tossing it up. I let it brown up a little bit. And I'm just tossing it on up with those, uh, with that half of sweet onion and this green bell pepper, y'all. This is easy. And I ain't put no salt in it because this is not low sodium cream of mushroom that I'm going to be using. This regular old cream of mushroom. I told y'all about that. Don't be trying to add salt on top of salt. You got to look at the sodium that's already in stuff, you know. There's already salt on the chicken. There's already plenty of salt in the cream of mushroom. So there's no reason to be like, oh, let me pack on the salt. Let me just put some salt on top of salt with a side of salt. And I'm going to have a little salt for dessert, a little salt appetizer, and a little salt on top of the salt for a sprinkling of salt. Child bye. You're going to kill yourself. Don't do it. i tell you one thing. To that that uh that blood pressure that stuff will put you in the hospital real quick diabetes get you slow but that blood pressure will take you down quick you'll be like what happened so i'm gonna put the whole can in here okay of this cream of mushroom y'all see me and then i'm gonna put some water in it too now i'm gonna tell you honestly if i had a little chicken bone broth or chicken stock I would use that instead of water, but honey, I ain't got none, and when I do get it, it ain't going to be for everyday cooking, which I do use it sometimes, but I'm going to be more so because it's holiday season. When I get my bone broth and stock, it really is going to be for Thanksgiving meals and stuff that I'm cooking, so it'll be on reserve for Thanksgiving and stuff, because even my macaroni noodles for my um, macaroni and cheese, child, you throw a little... A little stock in them noodles while you boiling them. That gives it some extra flavor. Okay, so I'm just go ahead and stirring up this um cream of mushroom in here in these veggies. And we're gonna loosen it up. Don't worry about how it looks. We're gonna loosen it on up, you guys. It's not going to <laughs> it's not going to stay looking like that, okay? So don't worry about that. And I'm gonna just try to get everything that I can. No pun intended. <laughs> everything that I can out of the can yes hallelujah nothing to waste this real simple what I'm doing here y'all y'all I'm telling you you do this with a Thanksgiving turkey my mama showed me this okay I told you she showed me her friend showed her and we do this I put some water in this can of cream of mushroom to kind of get the residual cream of mushroom that's left in the can kind of out of the can and also, I'm going to use it, like I said, to loosen up this um, this sauce that we have here, or this gravy, or whatever you'd like to call it, that we have here. Okay, that was probably about half of a can, y'all. And like I said, we're going to just work it on in here. We're going to work, work it on in and stir it up, y'all, until it get kind of like a little bit of a gravy consistency. Okay? That's all really simple and you can always season it to your liking you don't have to use the herbs and the garlic and the onion and the bell pepper and stuff that i use you season it to your liking you might want to put some cajun seasoning but like i said keep in mind if you're not using the low sodium even that one still got plenty of salt in it but cream of mushroom you're, it's certain things you don't want to just throw it in here we'll taste it and see do we need extra salt in it but you may not need any and you can always add a little more salt 
salt, but you can't take it away, you know. The only time I make sure that I put as much salt as I need is when I'm cooking pasta and when I'm cooking rice. Because, honey, you can't add salt to pasta and you can't add it to rice. If you ain't put enough, you just doggone ain't put enough. You done jacked it up because ain't nothing. You can't hardly add no salt to no pasta and rice. But we know that's kind of like a general cooking rule. Y'all see how thick that is, right? It ain't nothing that's loose and, and thin, you know. See how thick that came out? But like I said, I put that whole can of cream of mushroom in here with these onions and bell peppers and the herbs and the seasonings, right? And then um, I put about a half a can, half to, I would say, maybe half to two-thirds of a can of water in there with it. And remember, if you want to go ahead and use chicken broth a chicken stock a chicken bone broth i'm over here rinsing a spoon y'all because i'm gonna give it a little taste test i'm just turning it on low i'm gonna give it a little taste test to see if it need any salt okay it's good but for me i think i still i'm looking at the looseness i kind of want to add just a little more water in it to loosen it even a little bit more because it's a little thicker than necessary to me because it is going to simmer so that water is kind of going to cook out. You know what I mean? So I put just a little more. I probably put less than half, probably half of half. So that'll be a fourth <laughs> a can of water. I put about half a half in there. Okay. And now that I added a little more water and I did give it a quick little taste test and I'm going to probably give it another one but i'm just using making sure i have a clean utensil to taste with and y'all i'm gonna use me a little sea salt i do feel like it can use some salt this just me now i feel like it can take a little sprinkling of sea salt it don't need much but it do need a little something in my personal opinion and i'm just turning it up a little and i'm gonna go ahead and stir in that sea salt that I added. I feel like it could use a little sea salt for me. Now, you might taste it and say, oh, you, I don't need no salt. It's enough for me, you know? But I also want to add some more black pepper because I love me some black pepper. It's good and peppery to put this in there. I love that. So I'm not stingy with the pepper if a little heat scare you, you know? <laughs> One thing I can say about this stove, child, hey, this thing get hot quick. This is a new stove that's in here. It get hot so quick. You know how when you get new appliances, you guys, and you got to adjust to cooking in them? I was talking to my mom. I said, I hope my turkey for Thanksgiving, God sparing life, that it comes out good like it did before. Because I said, this stove gets heat, heated up so quick that I wonder, I hope the oven doesn't overcook my uh, turkey by cooking it too quickly. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of concerned about that, you guys. I'm like, I hope I can manage the heat on this thing because I know it's not the same heat as my previous one. Okay, let's go back in here and taste test, y'all. And see, do we need to throw? Nope, we don't need to put no salt in it. So now, I'm turning it back down to low. And y'all, our chicken that we pulled off the bone, child, I'm dumping it right in here. Okay, plain and simple. That chicken that we pulled right off that bone, we're going to mix it into this cream of mushroom sauce with the bell peppers, onions, and seasonings. And I'm going to just let it simmer. I'm going to stir it in here real good, make sure that each piece is coated, kind of separated a little bit. Because, you know, pulled apart chicken can try to kind of stick together a little bit and clump up. But we're going to go ahead and stir it in, y'all. Yep, and that's that. That's simple, right, y'all? Really simple. And now, what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to just put the top on it and then let it simmer. That's it. There, there's nothing to it. There's nothing to it. And I do want to put it back on two now that I got the top on it. Probably maybe one, not two, but one. Probably the second low setting. All right, y'all. So that's what we doing with that. And I'm just going to give my, this me, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to give my uh, stove. I can't stand to see stuff all popped across my stove a little quick. Just a little wipe down. 
get the seasonings because sometimes your seasonings kind of flick out and all kind of stuff. Just quick little wipe down over the stove. All right. And I'm letting that simmer and I'm going to bring the camera over and try to adjust it so y'all can see. Do y'all see how beautiful my rice is cooking up? Let me move the camera around. Okay, y'all, I flipped the camera around. Now check out my rice. See it here, y'all? I think that it looks pretty good. Let me take the top off. See how that looks, y'all? See all that steam coming out? See that parsley in there, that white, that jasmine rice, y'all? And I just have it on low right now. I turned it on low because, as I said, it shouldn't take but maybe about 15 to 20 minutes. I mean, just a small pot of rice. It wasn't but one cup, y'all. And we going to put that underneath our chicken what our chicken uh, see that simmering and that's on the second low setting i'm gonna let that simmer and that's you guys and as for my green veggie i actually don't have to cook a green veggie which i'm happy about that y'all i already have some steamed brussels sprouts that i made that are left over so i'm just gonna heat those up and eat them with the meal i'm not gonna sit up here and try to make another vegetable when there's already something available to eat because like i said waste not want not ain't no sense in throwing away food y'all okay anyway and i'm gonna be back and show you guys my plate once everything is done simmering okay all right now y'all come get a look at this now don't say i don't love y'all enough to tell y'all nothing i'm trying to told y'all look get a gander at this okay now this is my white rice i just got some steamed brussels sprouts over here on the side with my chicken uh honey okay and like i said this come from my mama who got it from her friend and you can apply it to your turkey to your chicken any poetry you got okay guys like I said, you can apply this recipe to any of your poetry that you have that's left over. And keep in mind, y'all, it doesn't have to be a chicken or a turkey that's not finished. You may have chicken and turkey. You may have leg quarters, chicken breasts, whatever the case, that are whole and you don't want to eat them as they are. And you want to break it down and eat it as something else. You could use a whole turkey, a whole chicken to do this. It doesn't have to just be leftovers. All you're going to do is, is stretch out your recipe a little bit. And if you have a bigger family, you may want to utilize two cans of cream of mushroom and a full can of water, you know, or chicken stock, chicken broth, bone broth, whatever the case, you guys. And you could always keep in mind, you can use brown rice. You guys, this would actually taste good over some pasta too. This would taste good over mashed potatoes. If you don't want to do that, I would also put this, I would take one of those good big baking potatoes and drop this chicken uh, right inside of a baked potato. Mm, child, that would be good too. You got to be creative. You know, you can do many things with this. I, I call it one of them stretch it meals, you know, but it tastes good. Let's give it a taste test. My little cute pile, I dug a little well inside of this rice, y'all. And I do this chicken uh, right in there. It's hot, y'all. Listen, remember when people used to roll their eyes like that <laughs> back in the day? <laughs> That's how good this is, y'all. It's good. I love it. And I'm going to get off the camera with it so I can eat how I want to eat. <laughs> Amen. I love it, y'all. And I'll tell you one thing. That one cup of rice with that half a teaspoon of sea salt with the parsley, and the avocado oil, perfect, perfect pot of plain white rice, y'all. It's like that white rice that got just the right amount of salt on it to the point that you could actually just eat the rice by itself. Good. I taste tested rice. I was like, yo, the rice is lit. You low key don't even need anything. But me knowing me tomorrow, I may take the leftover white rice, throw a little bit of soy sauce in it, crack an egg in it, throw some frozen peas in it and make some fried rice, you know, because I'm good for it. I might do something else with it if I don't eat it with this, which I probably, I might, we'll see. But anyway, because I am loving the chicken. Uh, but you guys let me know have you ever done a recipe like this and remember you can always add other things to it you might want to chop up some garlic in yours you may want to throw some carrots in yours you could throw some frozen veggies in that chicken um too like a mixed pack of peas carrots and corn frozen and throw it in there and get some extra veggies in y'all mm-hmm mm-hmm 
that would even be a good base for a chicken based shepherd's pie but what i would do is of course you're not going to put the water in the cream of mushroom because it'll be too liquidy for your shepherd's pie you'll leave the water out and let it be kind of a thick consistency but anyway that's another recipe for another day you guys don't forget to hit the thumbs up comment and subscribe to God's Development Plan. This is a weight loss journey, meal sharing here. And you guys, if you like my like meal sharing and weight loss journey videos, um, just keep in mind that on my channel, I have things organized into playlists for you guys. So I have the weight loss journey playlist. I have the God's Therapy Sessions playlist, which talks about the things that the Lord's been working on me with in my heart and things like that stuff. He's been... Ugh, beating out of me and stripping away from me you know old mindsets and things and it has been such a journey you guys oh my god I'm not even gonna lie it has been tough it has been many crying nights okay but I believe that we get in somewhere the <laughs> pain has a purpose right so anyway you guys but I'm just sharing as I'm going along because you guys know like I said I want to lose like another I want to lose people keep saying no 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 but I personally feel that you know for what the Lord has told me I want to lose like another 35 to 40 pounds to get to my weight loss goal even though I've lost 60 so far so you guys keep me in prayer but I'm doing realistic meal shares here because I'm not going to sit up here and share with you guys like I'm sitting up here eating salads day and night I do go through like little blips of time where I crave salad but I'm not on that right now this is just real food that I'm eating that's it okay so love you guys and don't forget to like which is the thumbs up comment and subscribe to guys development plan show your girl some love hey what's up family it's your girl lolita and there is an urgent and serious matter that we need to address here let's take a moment just a moment a moment for jesus you guys this is for anyone who wants to dedicate their life to jesus our lord and savior who gave his life on the cross for my sins for your sins right it doesn't matter how big or how small any sin is a sin right we all have mo multiple i'm sure right so Let's just take a moment. If you've never dedicated your life to Jesus, or if you did and you feel like you fell away or you backslid, you guys, I'll raise my hand for that. I know some people think once you're saved, you're always saved, but a relationship with the Lord has to be maintained, right? While our journey of this thing called life, right? And sometimes we go through disappointments, we have setbacks. We relapse into old, old sins. You know, there's things that happen. It happens to everyone. Nobody's perfect. I have been there myself where I got saved and baptized and then I stumbled, I fell, I backslid. And it's like, wow, I had to rededicate. And it's like learning some new things all over again. So right now I'm extending this invitation to you. It doesn't matter your age. You're not too young. You're not too old. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, boy or girl, right? Doesn't matter your economic status, your education. If you came from a different religious belief or spiritual belief, you can dedicate your life to Jesus right now. If there's any doubt in your heart that God forbid you would die today and you're not certain for sure that you've done all that you could do to stand and you're not sure that you're on your way to heaven, then don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Right now, you can rededicate. So if that's you and you would like to rededicate your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who died on the cross for our sins, who was wounded for our transgressions, whose by his stripes were healed, you can rededicate because he rose on the third day and he is the living God. So I'm going to say a quick prayer for you. Just bow your head and close your eyes. Okay, let's do it. Lord, bless my friend here, Lord God, and their family with long, healthy lives. Jesus, make yourself real to them and do a quick work in their heart. If they haven't received you, Lord Jesus, as their Lord and Savior, I pray they will do so now. And friend, 
If you would like to receive the gift that Jesus has for you on today, then I want you to repeat these words after me with your mouth out loud and your heart. Okay, let's go. Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. Wash me and cleanse me. Set me free, Jesus. Thank you that you died for me. I believe that you are risen from the dead. And that you are coming back again for me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Give me a passion for the lost. A hunger for the things of God. And a holy boldness to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm forgiven. And I'm on my way to heaven because I have Jesus in my heart. Amen. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I tell you today that all your sins are forgiven, my friend. And always remember to run to God and not from God because he loves you and he has a great plan for your life. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you, plans to give you hope and a future. That's an expected end, y'all. Amen. And family, my friend, go and get yourself into a good word-based church. And if you don't have a church home, you can message me. You can also comment below the video and I will message you a link where you can be anywhere in the country and join in for Bible studies and prayers and be connected to a faith-based community, not just a number in the crowd, okay? Personal connection, all right? So if you need that, let me know and we'll get you the link so you can join in love you so much and I'm so glad that you gave yourself to Jesus or if you already did it and you needed a rededication I'm glad you joined in and did that too because let me tell you we all need it and I raise my hand as well okay love you so much may the Lord bless you may he keep you may he make his face to shine upon you and I pray that because you have done this thing and professing the name of the Lord and giving him your life that he will give you a personal encounter with him that you will have intimate relationship with Jesus through the Holy Spirit may you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit amen by fire in the name of Jesus, because that's what the word says. Amen. All right. Love you. It's your girl Lolita here on God's Development Plan. See you soon. God has a plan for both you and me. But there are levels to reach Before eternity We must prepare As we share our testimony Our lives are God's development plan yeah. Our lives are God's development plan